We love homosexuals. We love all people. If you don't, then you're not following the teachings of Jesus, to be sure. But it doesn't mean that you have to support, embrace, encourage particular lifestyles that you believe are harmful to the individuals and harmful to the society in general. So it is amazing that in the name of liberality, in the, in the name of being tolerant, this fascist intolerance has arisen. People that stand up and say, you know, I, I agree with the majority of Americans, I agree with Moses and Jesus, that marriage was a man and a woman. Now all of a sudden, people like me are considered haters, hate mongers, evil, which really is exactly what we've seen, thank you, throughout our history as uh, going back to the days of the Nazi takeover in Europe. What did they do first? They would call people haters and evil and build up disdain for those people who held those opinions or religious views or religious heritage. And then the next came, well, those people are so evil and hateful, let's bring every book that they've written or has to do with them, and let's start burning the books because we can't tolerate their intolerance. And as shrinks have testified before me during my days as a judge, it's, it's called projecting. Someone that has a characteristic and to divert condemnation on themselves, they project their characteristic on someone with whom they disagree. So the most intolerant in America and especially people like we're going to be on the television show before it canceled. People like me, yeah, we get upset. We can't stand to see our nation torn apart. Can't stand to see our Judeo-Christian values on which the nation was founded demeaned, depicted as somehow evil. So we stand up for those things. But there's no hate for individuals.